Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today's tutorial is on the broomstick lace crochet stitch. Okay, so I got a comment from Sarah Oswald who asked if I could please teach the broomstick lace crochet stitch. And before we get started with that, I just want to say I've been getting a lot of comments. I absolutely love getting the comments. I'm reading them all. I'm getting back to you as soon as I can. Keep them coming and uh, please be patient with me. I promise I will respond to your comments. Okay, so just a few notes about the broomstick lace stitch. To do the broomstick lace stitch, you're going to need a tool that is cylindrical. So. I have two different ones here. I have an S size crochet hook and a wooden dowel from my husband's workshop. Now, I don't know if you can see the little fuzzies coming off the dowel here. Uh, that's because as much as he sanded it for me, it was still a little rough and caught my yarn. So that's something to be aware of because the smoother your tool is, the easier it's going to be for you. Now, the size of your tool is going to dictate the size of the hole in the center of your lace. Let me show you. With this dowel, you can see that the broomstick lace stitch has a larger hole. Now, when I used this crochet hook, the resulting broomstick lace had a smaller hole. So you, the size of your tool is going to dictate the size of that hole in the center and the size of your stitch, basically, because the size of your hole dictates the size of your stitch. So you can see with the dowel how much bigger it is than with the crochet hook. And I used a five millimeter crochet hook for both of these. The other thing I changed up was the multiple that you use for this stitch. And you'll understand as we start to do this stitch. But let me just say this up front. Whatever multiple you use for your chain will be the same multiple of loops you're gonna pick up on your hook and the same multiple of single crochets that you're going to do on the top of the stitch. So just keep that in mind. If I'm using a multiple of four, that means I'm going to have four loops on my hook when I take it off of my tool and I'll be making four single crochets at the top of the stitch. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for you. I think the toughest part of this stitch is holding your tool holding your crochet hook, using your yarn at the same time, and you have to get into your own rhythm. I tend to hold the tool up and down. Some people lay it down and have their stitches coming out toward them. You have to find what works best for you. For me, you'll see I hold my tool more up and down. The one thing that I will say that's crucial is make sure you're very consistent in the way that you hold your work. You'll see I always have my work hanging from the bottom of the hook, I'm always holding it the same way. And when I take the loops off the hook, I'm always facing the same direction. Also, as I go into the stitches, I'm making sure the stitches are facing the same direction. So just be very consistent with that and you won't have things twisting up. I just wanted to give you those uh, little tips ahead of time. So let's get started and we'll make some broomstick lace crochet stitches. Okay, so for this stitch, I'm going to use Red Heart Super Saver yarn. It's a four weight yarn, acrylic, a size five millimeter hook. And I'm going to do the stitch with two different broomsticks. <laughs> so this is a dowel I got from my husband's wood workshop. And hopefully it's going to be smooth enough. I'm going to try working on this end. This end doesn't seem so smooth. You can use anything that's big and round. For the other one, I'm gonna use this boy size S hook, the end of this hook here. And whatever tool you use will determine the size of the opening in your stitch, which you will see. We're gonna start with the S crochet hook. And when you do the broomstick lace, you can choose any multiple you like. So for this first one, I'm gonna choose a multiple of three. Now I'm not gonna do a foundation row of single crochet or double crochet. Some people show it that way. We're gonna do it right from the chain. And when you're working with this, you can go by what the pattern has for a foundation or you can add your own foundation, whatever you like. 
So first we're gonna chain a multiple of three. I'm gonna work with a multiple of three at first. So let's chain 15 chains. Okay, so that should be 15. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just pull up that loop and stick our tool in and tighten it. Okay. You can do this several ways. You can, I've seen people just lay it like this and then work into the next chain. I prefer to stand my work up and Whatever you do, don't twist your chain and go into the front one time and the back one time. Make sure you're doing the same thing all the way down. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the front of the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, put it over my crochet hook and tighten. Okay, so now I know I went into the front of my uh, stitches, so I wanna make sure I'm doing that all the way down. Put it over my crochet hook and continue. Okay. And you'll do this in each chain all the way down till you have 15 loops on whatever tool you're using. So continue doing that and I'll meet you when you have your 15 loops. I also like to make sure that my chain is staying along the bottom. Just try to keep everything consistent so you're not twisting anything. You're doing the same thing for each stitch. So now we should have 15 loops on our crochet hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. Now, whatever multiple we used, which was three in this case, is the number of loops that we're gonna put our crochet hook under. Okay, so we're gonna stick our hook in along the bottom here under these first three loops. We just wanna get them on our hook like that. Then we're gonna move our crochet hook to the top, yarn over, pull up a loop under, and then chain to fasten it on, all right? Then we're gonna slip these three loops off our hook. You can scooch the others up, but don't lose them. And we're gonna do three, again, the same number, single crochets. One, two, into the center of that, those loops there, three. Okay, then we're gonna move to the next three, go under the three, come to the top of the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now you already have a loop on your hook, you're gonna single crochet. So that counts as your first single crochet. You're gonna take your loops off and do two more, one, and two. And then we're gonna go to our next three loops and we're gonna just continue down doing the same thing, going in, grabbing the next three. There we go. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and make a single crochet. And pulling those three loops off, do two more single crochets into your, the center of your loops there. There we go. And onto the next three. I'll scooch them up a little. Onto the next three loops. There we go. And yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through both loops to single crochet. And we'll take those off and do two more single crochets into the center. 
And then we are up to the last three loops here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, single crochet. Take these three off your hook. And then we're gonna do two more single crochets into those loops. One, two, and there we go. We have our first row of broomstick lace, very pretty. So to do the next row, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're in here already, we're gonna pull up a loop. I don't need that big a one for this crochet hook. Put it on and pull it tight. Now we're just gonna work our way back in each of these single crochets that we just made. We know we have a multiple of three because we did three for each set. So we have the first one there, we're going into the second under both loops. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and put it on my hook, and tighten, just like that. Then into the third, right here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, over the hook, and tighten. And we're gonna go like that all the way down until we have 15 loops on the hook once again. Okay, so now we should have 15 on the hook again. My work along the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, perfect. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the last row. We're gonna go under the first three loops here. I like to pull it down a little like that. It makes it easier to get in. Come across the top, yarn over, pull up a loop and chain to fasten. Then we're gonna take off. You only have to do that chain to fasten on the first stitch. And we're gonna do three single crochets into the center of those loops. And moving along to the next three. Again, it's easy if you pull the work down a little, get your hook right in there. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, do a single crochet. That counts as your first single crochet. And we're gonna do two more into the center here. One and two. We're gonna continue that way all the way down till we get to the end. And that's really all there is to the broomstick lace. The hardest part is feeling like you need more hands, <laughs> honestly. Okay, take this off. And two more. Um, and everybody has a different style of how they hold things. So just play with it. See whatever works best for you. Into the next three. You get your own rhythm, as with anything. And one, two, and then into the last three. Yarn over, pull up a loop, single crochet. Take them off the hook. And one and two into the loop. And there we go. We have our broomstick lace. Look how beautiful that is. And that's with the smaller crochet hook. Now we'll use this dowel and we'll see how that works and what difference that makes. Now, for the dowel, I will use a multiple of four. So let's do 20 chains. Okay. 
Okay. Same idea. So everything we do, we're going to do using four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty on the twentieth loop. Let's bring it up. Let me see which side of this looks smoother. This side looks smoother. So I'm gonna use this side and I'm gonna put that over my dowel and pull that tight. Now, just like we did with the crochet hook, we wanna look at our stitches here and make sure we keep them the same direction. Don't let them twist. Okay, so here are my stitches coming out of this first one here. So I'm gonna go into the next one, pull up a loop and put it over the top of the dowel and tighten. Just make sure we're not twisting here. There we go. And again, looking at our next stitch, we're in this stitch here, we're gonna go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and put it over top of the dowel and tighten just like that and again into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop we're going to do this till we have all 20 loops on the dowel okay and i'll meet you here okay so this should be 20 loops and I like to line up my chains along the bottom there. And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> the dowel is not nearly as smooth as the crochet hook, so that makes it more difficult. You may have a piece of wood that's more finished and slips more easily, that would be helpful. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, perfect. All right, so we used a multiple of four this time, so we're gonna do everything with fours. So the first thing we're gonna do is slip our hook under the first four loops. One, two, let me pull this down. Three, four, there we go. Bring our hook to the top, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and just chain to fasten those together. I'm gonna to scooch these up on the wood, hopefully not get a splinter. <laughs> and my husband did sand this for me, he was very kind. Okay, now again, we're using everything in fours, right? So we're gonna do four single crochets into the center. One, two, and these will become our stitches for the next row, three, and four. Okay, so these will become the stitches for the next row. Again, holding our work the way we were holding it all along with the chains along the bottom. I'm going to get into the next four loops. One, two, three, four. Come up. And we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and now we already have a loop on our hook. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through both to make a single crochet and take those four loops off of the dowel. Okay. And then I'm gonna do, since I already have one single crochet, I'm gonna do three more. So I have a total of four. One, two, and three, just like that. There we go. And into the next four. One, two, three, four. Come up, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
single crochet. You see your hands start to get the hang of it, even with this bigger dowel. Okay. And, and we'll do three more single crochets into those loops. One, two, and three. And into the next four loops. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull up a loop, single crochet. Take those babies off the dowel. And three more single crochets. One, two, three and into our next set of four loops on the hook here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, single crochet. Take those off the dowel. Happy to put that dowel down. <laughs> and three more single crochets, two and three. Okay, and there we have our first row of broomstick lace with the bigger dowel. So we can see the difference here between using this smaller crochet hook and the bigger dowel. Whatever tool you use, that will dictate the size of these holes. Okay, so uh, to do another row, you would just pull this loop up, take your dowel and start all over again which I showed you on the crochet hook. And that is the broomstick lace stitch. Very pretty. Okay, so I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you've used this stitch in anything, I would love for you to share with us what you've used it for, how well it worked. And if you have any projects where you've used the broomstick lace crochet stitch, I'd love it if you'd send in pictures for the show and tell. I know I mentioned this in the community messages, but this weekend I'll be at my niece's wedding. I'm very excited about that. So if you could get me your show and tell pictures by tomorrow morning, which is Friday, that would be really helpful to me. That way I can compile everything before I go and have it set up to run on Sunday. Okay, so as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.